This is Josh Hope with Momaki USA. We're going to show how to use the 3D Link software in order to be able to select certain parts and assign different color properties to them, and specifically how to take a multi part assembly and select only certain components and be able to apply color effects or translucent effects or to take advantage of the clear ink and clear ink effects that are available with the Mamaki 3D UJ553 printer. So to start with, I have 3D Link open now, and I'm just going to bring in a basic model. So we're just going to go to File, and we're going to say Load 3D Model Data, and that'll bring the Load Model Data window. And here I'm just going to say Add File, and I'm going to grab just a very simple model. It's a 3MF model, and we're going to open it up. And when it comes into the load model data window, uh, it's just got the path to the model, the number of copies, units, whether we want it to automatically enable the layout, and then grouping, which is important and we'll get to in just a minute. For now, I'm just gonna bring this model in as is, so I'll just say okay. And you can see the model comes in here. It's laid out at the zero, zero point on the bed. And I'll just right mouse click and drag this around so you can see it a little bit better. So it's basically just a rod and a block that are nested together. Now what you'll notice down at the bottom here, I can select the rod and the block model and I get an option for color mode, monocolor replacement, and some basic information about number of polygons and the model size. So for the color mode, if I still leave it as color and I check the monocolor replacement here, this gives me the ability to click into the color here Pick a color, and I'm just going to pick a, a basic uh, CMYK color here, 100 magenta, 100 yellow, and hit OK. And you see that both the rod and the block are colored red now. Same thing, if I pick white from the drop down, they become completely white. You'll notice that the monocolor replacement has grayed out because that's no longer in play. Same thing with clear. Again, I get the rod and the block together. But there's nowhere here for me to select just the rod or just the block. So if we want to do that to be able to have a, a what we would call an assembly where we have multiple parts that we can select an individual piece of a part and then give that specific um, color properties, we have to do this a slightly different way. So I'm going to take the, the model that we've imported and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come back now and say file load 3, 3D model data again add file and this time instead of rod block I've taken those two pieces and I've broken them into two separate models so I've got the rod model and then I'm going to control click the block model and I'm going to bring them both in so just as before number of copies units um, and again I'm going to leave group alone for right now and I'm going to bring this in and you will see that when I bring it in they're side by side each one has a, a slightly different um, position on the bed but I have the ability now to select just the rod or select just the block and with one of those uh, we'll say the rod I can now come to color I can select that I want to do a monocolor replacement click on it I'll pick that same red color and when I say okay now you can see that now the rod is colored and the block is not colored right now the only problem here is that they're, they're separate from each other completely and what we want is we want to be able to have an assembly where in the same piece where the rod is nested inside of the block I can print it all at one time but each one has its own color properties. So one more time I'm going to select and delete the rod and the block and this time when I open them up I'll say add file again I'll pick the rod, control click for the block again, but this time in the load model data window under group, I'm going to select the block, drop down, and I'm going to say add to above group. And when I do that, you'll notice that there's a, uh, a line that links these two now under the state window. And that shows that these two are connected. By doing this, it will bring them in with their own or, or, or with the, the same XY coordinates that they were originally created with when I built them and you can see now that they're nested. The rod is inside the block 
So they've kept their original x, y coordinates rather than just coming in side by side. And now at the bottom you'll see that I can select rod, I can go to monocolor replacement, I can select the color, and now when I color it red I'm only coloring the rod. I can do the same thing with the block or I can do something totally different. So this is where it allows me to give it clear so I can see now that the block is clear and the rod is inside and it's been uh, colored solid red. Or I'll just reverse these really quickly. I'll go back to color for the block so it'll keep its original green color. I'll change the uh, color mode to clear for the rod and now I've got a clear rod inside of the green block. I can also do what's called a skeleton color and skeleton color allows me to have the same rod but instead of having a white core it now has a clear core and it uses monocolor replacement to put a single color all the way around that clear object. So now I can have a nested piece inside of an or a nested clear piece inside of an opaque piece and this is all done just by using that group function inside of 3D Link.